Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at Steppen. Now, I've been playing this game. I actually started in January, then took a break, then jumped back into it about a month ago. And the most common question is like when people create an account, they're like, where do I get this activation code? And then it's like, how do I get the wallet set up and all that sort of stuff? So in this video, I wanted to go through the activation code uh, and setting up the wallet and just some of the things to watch out for because now we do have Solana and Binance. Um, so you want to be very careful on what you go on, depending what you're looking for so i will leave timestamps in the description for you guys to jump around but let's get into it okay so the first thing when you open the step in the app i'm going to do this from scratch on a fresh I'm, I'm using actually an emulator instance um so that i can show you guys from scratch yes i will waste a code on this i have been giving all my codes away to people i got one back off of someone for this one uh just so i could do this dem demonstration so the first thing you're going to have to do when you see here is there's no like create account page. It's you enter an email address and then you hit send code and then it will send you a code which you put in and then it makes you an account based on that email address and then you can add a password later. So I'm just going to enter a fresh email that I created for this demonstration. If you're on a new device and you've already got an account, you can do the same thing. You can enter your email address, get the code and then you can log into your other account. But like I said, for this one, I'm going to enter a fresh email address um, for mine and then I'm going to hit that send code button just over here and then once I send that code that'll go to my email I'll paste that and then we will log in and I'll come back so now I am in from there I'm gonna need an activation code now these activation codes the main way you're gonna get them is from other users now they do change how they give these out along the way they did for ages um, give out activation codes in their discord um, they had like a thousand a day that they were giving out they've stopped doing that and the best way to get codes off of other players is basically the discord is probably the main way in their discord which i'll leave linked in the description they do have a section for activation codes where me personally if i don't have anyone that i know that wants to get into the game i will go into that channel and just drop my activation code and the first one to get it can use it that is going to be the main way Try not to pester people. Try not to be like really pushy. Please don't go into general chat and spam general chat in their Discord because it just makes it a bad place to be. Um, but yeah, in the Discord, the, the code channel, probably the best place to go ahead and grab one. The reason they do these activation codes is to limit the amount of players that come into the space uh, so that they don't get that rapid growth that makes the sort of the prices go up too fast and then crash so they're trying to control that also they're trying to control user base so that they can scale their servers and stuff like that with the users as opposed to going straight up to too many users that they can handle so that is the reason for it if anyone is wondering um it's not because it's an exclusive club or anything like that it's literally because they are in beta and they're still trying to scale the project up um so for this one here i do have a redemption a a code that was sent to me so i'm going to enter that one in here so that's going to be four five nine can't read nine two nine probably need some glasses zero five four and then we're going to go start so that brings us in. Now, the next thing you've got to look at is here is which chain you want to go on. At the time of recording this, the BNB chain has only just been set up and it doesn't really have a proper economy. They had a collaboration with ASICS and the BNB chain, everything you find on the market is ridiculously expensive because it hasn't had time to breed in a bunch of shoes to go into the ecosystem. So my suggestion for people joining near the upload time of this video would be to go on Solana because it's well established and if in the future once bnb becomes you know more set up i will make videos about that as well but at the moment bnb is only really to me for people in that ecosystem and have not been playing the game and know that they want some of the collab shoes because like i said it's very expensive at the moment so for this example i am going to jump into solana now you can switch later on as well but for getting set up i think solana is the best one like i said it's the most established so we're going to go confirm so there we go so they're going to give you the tutorial on how it's the whole how all that stuff works um i will make like a full beginner's guide on you know all the details and all that sort of stuff so that will come in the next couple of days as well but what i wanted to show you guys here is we're creating a wallet because you're going to need a wallet to get these currencies into your account um so here what, what it tells us here is that you can long press it so if you hold this um this solana symbol up here 
you can long press it and that's how you are going to change. But we want to leave it on Solana. So I'm just going to single click that. Now, the next thing we have to do is set up a wallet. Now, when we go to the wallet here, you can see we can create a new wallet or we can import, import a wallet using seed phrase. Now, even if you have a wallet set up, this, this is completely up to you. But what I do is or what I did was I created a new wallet. So when you create the wallet, if you haven't created wallets before, I'm assuming most people have, you know, do not digitally type in any of the information that you get when you create a wallet, you will get seed phrases. Those seed phrases, write them down on paper, write them down multiple times, keep them in multiple secure places. You do not want anyone to get your seed phrases because then they will have access to your wallet. It's a very basic crypto thing. So what I normally do is go ahead and create a new wallet. Like I said, then you've got separation between your normal wallet and what you're using here. And basically all you're gonna do is create this wallet here. I'm not gonna create it right now because I don't wanna get into seed phrases and all that sort of stuff right now. Now here we've got an image of my wallet in my actual account, just so I can show you what's in that system when you get in there. Now, when you do create this wallet, you will have the option to set up a six digit numeric code, set that up, bit of extra protection. So if someone gets your phone, they can't get into your wallet and send stuff away without entering the code in first. Um, so at the top here, we have Solana, that's the chain we're on. We have 1.22 Solana. This um, is basically just what it defaults to showing you up the top here. Uh, this section here is going to be the wallet address, which you can click to copy in case you wanted to send it to another wallet to be able to send funds into it. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about that later. So that's the address. I've just got mine blacked out for this. We then have receive. When you click receive, it will open up a QR code. If you want to deposit funds into this one, you can use it through the QR code. If you have another wallet you're sending it from. Transfer is going to have two options when you click on it. There's going to be one that is transferring to spending, and that's how you get these tokens into the spending account, which is the actual app so that you can use them. For instance, if you've got Solana, so you can use it to buy stuff off the marketplace. If you've got GST, you can use it to upgrade your shoes and stuff like that. So transferring to spending is gonna be how you get stuff from your wallet over into that spending account. The other option is transfer is, tr is the other option in there is transfer to external. And that's how you're gonna take funds out of the game and send them to an external wallet. Then we have trade. Now trade is gonna open up a menu where you can swap your say Solana for GST. Say you need extra GST to maybe breed a couple of shoes or they call it mint in this game. Um, you can trade that Solana for the GST from the in-game wallet, which is pretty cool. Now, also you can keep sneakers and stuff like that in the wallet. I've never done it personally. I just keep these sneakers in the account all the time. But if you want to trade them amongst people, you can do that as well. So that's the basic gist of what happens and what you see when you do create this wallet. Now, when it comes to receiving funds into this wallet so you can transfer it into the spending and actually use them in the game. Uh, like I said before, I like creating the new wallet here as opposed to you know bringing an old wallet across. Um, so what I do is I have a phantom wallet for Solana, which I use use that's my main wallet and I just transfer from that into this wallet. Now, if you don't have a wallet set up on Solana, I'll leave a link to a video that shows you how to set up a phantom wallet. Um, and basically, I just get my funds into my phantom wallet and then I just transfer them straight into this wallet and then I can trade them for whatever I need. Normally, I just transfer Solana because when you're buying shoes or anything off the market, you need that Solana. Um, and then I just transfer it into the spending and we are ready to go. And that's basically the main uh, gist of what you want to be doing with the wallet. Now, keep in mind when you do transfer funds from your wallet to your spending or your spending to your wallet, it can take Normally it takes about three to five minutes for me. I had an occasion uh, just yesterday where it took me about six hours for it to transfer. So you will transfer, it will be removed from one of the wallets and then take time to get into the other one. I think they're working on upgrading their servers at the moment to make that not an issue. But at the moment it is still a little bit of an issue. So once you have transferred those funds and they are in your spending, which is up the top here, then we're going to jump out and you're going to go to the market over here. Now, when you're buying shoes, that is where you're going to use your Solana. You've got your wallet set up and you can go ahead and buy the pair of shoes that you want. Now, I'm not going to go deep into this because this is an entire video on itself, what your first pair of shoes wants to be, because there is a lot of different factors that have to go into this being, do you only ever want to buy one shoe? Do you want to get to three? Do you want to breed multiple shoes? Do you want to go to nine? Should you go for uncommons? Should you go for rares? It's a very, very deep question. What stats do you want? What sockets do you want? It's like I said, it goes very, very deep. 
and it's going to require its entirely own video. But as you can see here, I just wanted to caveat it with this. At the moment, Solana is trading around $100 at the time of this video. You can see it is 16.39 Solana for the floor. That is rather expensive. That's about, you know, $1,600 roughly to buy a pair of shoes in this game. Now, I just want to stress the fact that this stuff is all very unknown. So, you know, it is a lot of investment. There's no guarantee that you can get your money back. So I am personally up to nine pairs of shoes in the game with an uncommon main. But, you know, don't put in more money. Don't put in your rent money. Don't put in anything crazy to get involved in this. Um, you know, it's your personal choice. They are quite expensive. Um, but the, the great thing that I do love about this project is that with a lot of crypto projects, if they go to zero, you end up with nothing. If they go to, if this one goes to zero, at least it got me back into a healthy lifestyle. So that's the little caveat for me. But like I said, no one can tell the future. I'm having a lot of fun with the game. I put in an amount that I was happy to lose from the start. Um, and that's what I suggest doing. But you know, you guys are grown ups. You make your own decisions. But that is how to set up. That's how to get your activation code, how to get your wallet set up and get into buying your first pair of shoes. Like I said, tomorrow or the next day, I'll make a video going through everything to consider when buying your first pair of shoes and what you really want to look for, depending on how you want to play the game. But anyway, guys, that is going to be for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.